You guys know that I've talked about an application called Phone Link many, many times on this channel. It can be a very, very useful application to access your phone's notifications, text messages, and even stream apps or your full phone screen from your phone to your computer, depending on what phone you're using. Those features are restricted to devices like Surface Duo and some other Samsung devices. But for everybody, getting your text messages and notifications on your computer while you're working from your phone is very, very useful. However, over the last several months, Phone Link has gotten a little bit unreliable for a lot of us. It seems like it wants to disconnect from the phones and even for some people, it's been causing some fairly substantial battery drain issues. So in this video right now, we're going to talk about an alternative that I did not actually realize was an alternative. It's called Intel Unison. And when it was announced, it was said that it would require one of these newer Intel Evo processors to work on your computer. But that is apparently not actually true. I've installed it on my computer, which is running a couple of generations old Core i7. It installed and ran just fine. So we're going to take a look at Intel Unison, and I'm going to show you exactly what it's capable of doing, and perhaps it could be a serviceable replacement for Phone Link. So first things first, I'm going to drop a link in the description to Intel Unison in the Microsoft Store. When you click on Get in the Store app, to open up the Store app, go ahead and install that. Next, head on over to the Google Play Store or, of course, the Apple App Store and install the Intel Unison application. From there, getting set up is as simple as scanning a QR code, just like you see there, verify your device, and you are off and running. So what does that get you? We've got the Intel Unison app synced up, running. This is on my computer. You can see there, that is my Z Fold 4. So let's see what we can do with this thing. So the first thing that we can do is we can actually transfer files wirelessly to or from your phone and your computer. So let's grab a thumbnail and drag it on there. And uh, you can't see this, but it's already on my phone. Like it popped up remarkably fast. And then doing the same thing, I'm gonna select a photo that is on my phone. I've selected it and boom, it is there. It is already on my computer. But of course there's more than that. We can go into the gallery application and this will show very similarly to the phone link application. It will show the photos that are actually on my phone itself. And these can be opened up and viewed in fairly high quality here directly on your computer. We have a pop-up here popping up that I don't want. I do not want to review your app. That makes me unhappy. Go away. And of course, you can jump over to videos, albums, whatever you might actually have on your phone. And you can view these things. Very, very nice. Another cool thing here is the ability to see your text messages. I can grab a hold of one of these very easily and send and receive text messages. Now, one annoying thing about this is that it does not use RCS like you would hope. Same problem as with phone link. If you're using RCS, it's gonna send it as SMS and MMS. That is definitely a problem with these applications. But if all you wanna be able to do is send and receive text messages from your phone, you're gonna be able to do that just fine. You can also pair your PC and your phone via Bluetooth and make phone calls. Of course, your computer does need to have Bluetooth in order for this to work. And last but not least, you have your notifications here showing up in this little sidebar, which again, you can dismiss. And when you dismiss them here, you are dismissing them from your phone as well. Under settings, there's not a whole lot that you can change with it. Pop-up notifications, pop-up sounds, full con. You can customize, you know, what apps are sending notifications, customize a little bit with the calls and things like that, MMS size limit, compress MMS, which we don't want to do. And that's really about it. It's a fairly simple device, to be honest with you, but it seems to do the job pretty well, at least as well as phone link. Now we are missing some of those more advanced phone link capabilities, but most people don't have access to those capabilities anyways. And from what I can tell, I'm not seeing any substantial drain on my battery with this program running. So that's definitely a potential advantage as well. So guys, there you go. That's Intel Unison. Like I said, it should work on just about whatever computer you installed on from what I can tell. I've installed it on a couple in my house that are definitely not Intel Evo computers and they are running just fine. Like I said, links in the description to this stuff. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Let me know what you think about this too. Let me know, is this a better app for you than Phone Link? If you try it for a while, let me know what you think in comparison to Phone Link. I think it is a strong competitor. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.